Hello YouTube, this is Sonic Tgk here, and welcome back to another Love 0.9.0 tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to cover loading audio, and manipulating the audio will be in another tutorial, but this is really just going to focus on loading audio and some basic manipulation, uh, such as pausing, setting volume, and stuff like that. So, to load audio into Love, you create a variable and call it local um, audio source equals uh, love.audio.newSource and then this is the path to the audio fed. I have from the video I just recorded, this was the uh, um, requested series, the typewriter and I have the name of it. Uh, in, this is just in our directory and as you can see there's the uh, reference code I had for that tutorial. So typewriter mp3 and that will load it into love. And what we can say here is we can say audio source set looping true, which means it will loop, and audio source set play. There we go. It loops it. Um, now, I, with loading sources, you have two options. You can load it into uh, a stream which means it will stream it from your uh, your disk, your um, hard disk, whether it's an SSD or Fusion Drive or uh, SSD, whatever. Whatever you have, uh, I think I mentioned SSD twice. <laughs> it will uh, stream it there uh, dynamically. That's good if you want to save on memory um, and say it's a, a longer audio clip, like a, a minute and a half, um, uh, BGM, say it's your game's theme, your credits theme that you have playing some triumphant hero music after he slayed the mystical dragon of the Yemen Empire. <laughs> um, you would have triumphant music playing maybe in credits or something. You would want that to be streamed and not loaded into memory because then it would be taking up space in memory. Um, that is good for longer audio clips or audio sources but for like audio clips like um, a stab sound effect or an ugh sound effect from getting hurt or whatever uh, you would want to make it static. By default, every love source is static, um, but you can give it static here as a parameter. I removed this, that's why it's not playing. Or you can have it stream. If I were to type in here some stuff, it would say an invalid source type. So static or stream. So now we can say. Uh, audio source dot or no set looping true audio I can't type today play and you can say if love that keyboard that is down escape then audio source pause and then we can say else if love that keyboard that is down. Uh, let's say um, I think it's enter. Then audio source dot play. No, dot play play. No, maybe it's return. So yeah, that is uh, pausing and playing. I could say um, else if love that keyboard that is down um, Q, then audio source stop. Now this will completely stop the audio source so that next time we play it, it will uh, play from the beginning. Whereas pause, we'll just pause it. So that is basic audio manipulation, Manip manipulation, if I can speak, manipulation, that just sounds weird, <laughs> anyway, um, let's see, uh, playing, pausing and stopping, 
we can set volume. We could say uh, setting volume. If load that keyboard that is done, let's just say square bracket will turn the volume down. Audio source set volume. Audio source get volume. Take away 0 0.1. And as you can hear, it's very quiet. Then we can say else if love that keyboard that is down um, other bracket, then I'll give you three guesses. What will it do? It will add to the volume. Oh yeah. And then what we can do is we could say else if low that keyboard that is down let's say W. These are just random keys that come into my head. Audio source set volume to zero. This will completely mute it. Else if low that keyboard that is down uh S, then audio source set volume to one. So that is basically all the, the simple audio man manipulation. Uh, I believe you can add surround sound. I will cover that more in a more advanced tutorial later on whenever we get into player advanced player things um so look forward to that but yeah that's it for this tutorial hopefully you enjoyed if there's anything you didn't understand it, send me a private message tweet me check out my website for more social media links it is a uh, sonic to kick out of python anywhere.com slash contact that html um um twitter is probably the best way to get in contact with me you could check me out in skype go to my website and go to the contact page click on the skype button and it should open skype for you to my profile so that you can message me or whatever with any questions you may have uh twitter is really the best way to get in contact with me because i'm always on twitter i get notifications about twitter email is a terrible way to get in contact with me because i'm never on email but yeah that's it for this tutorial hopefully you enjoyed uh share with your friends if you think they'll find it useful but until then my name is sonic tkk and i will see you in the next tutorial